Rights Group in Mombasa alleged misappropriation of funds meant to carry out waterworks in Mombasa. Mombasa Water and Sewerage Company is accused of doing a shoddy job with the funds donated by the World Bank, thus accusations of misusing of the funds. The project consists of sewer improvement in Kibokoni and Old Town in Mvita constituency, ablution blocks in Kongoweya, Nyali and Likoni and sewer improvement project in Jomvu. This project has costed the World Bank more than 700 million Kenya shillings. Yet nothing has taken place on the ground, money has been lost, project has been poorly done and even, and even in those places where it has been, uh, uh, they have tried to do something better, the, the quality of the work is poor and the money is lost. This, the, the World Bank project consists of sewer improvement project here in Kibokoni, ablution block in uh, Kongoweya and Likoni and there is also sewer and improvement project in Jomvu. We have tried to reach the management of Mwasco, that's the Mombasa Water and Sewage Department, to raise concerns over the people around where the project is. Nothing is forthcoming, yet the contractors have moved out of the ground. In a letter dated November 8th, Mombasa residents wrote to the World Bank Managing Director in Washington, D.C., urging the World Bank Director to look into the matter. The letter was also sent to the Director of Criminal Investigations, the CEO, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, the Chairperson Commission on Administrative Justice, CAJ, and Mowasco Managing Director. We have also raised the issue with the funding agency, which is the World Bank. And the World Bank has taken cognizance of the issue. The, the, this year has taken cognizance of the issue, but the only agency which is acting is the World Bank. We are seeking that the EACC to come on the ground and investigate this massive corruption project at the Mowasco in Mombasa. Money is lost, There's no pe people are not benefiting from the project, and we are also asking the World Bank to stop any funding of projects in Kenya until this one has been investigated and the culprits have been, put to have been brought to book. Secondly, since the World Bank started to start taking cognizance and investigating this project, we are seeing a campaign of re retribution and cover-up at the Mombasa Water and Sewage Department. People are being sacked, others are being demoted, others are being interdicted. So we are asking the, 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 the governor of Mombasa to please disband the Mombasa Water Board here, Mombasa and Mawasco Board, and constitute a new one as investigations are taking place. Zahra Omar, one of the people living in Kibokoni, said that they did not receive any compensation despite being promised by Mombasa Water and Sewerage Company. Sisi ni katika wale tuluathiriwa, walikuja kufanya hii project, wakatudanganya, wakatuambia watatulipa, na project kutimeisha. Sasa sisi ndo tupata shida kwa vumbi, kwa matope, ikinyesha mvua ni balaa, Hii barabara haipitiki kapsa, uwa kuna matope kweli kweli. Na pia biashara zetu zimeathirika, na tukukaribu watu umeambili sabiini nafikiri. Sasa hatujalipo hata mtu moja, ni kama umetudanganya tu. Hatuoni pesa, hatuoni lolote, na barabara pia hatuengenezi, waimimacha hivi hivi. Sasa ndo hatujui ni vipi. Sisi muhimu, tuataka tulipwe, na barabara pia itengenezwe. Kwa sababu ni shida hata customer pia hawaji huku. Customer ukiwambia waje area za huku, wanakataa. Since these events unfolded about the corruption in the project at World Bank, we took our initiative, we wrote the petition to the World Bank, we wrote to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, we wrote to the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, we even wrote to the PS and the Minister for Water in Kenya. And finally, we even wrote to the, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. Of all these people we went to, it is only the World Bank which has responded. And they have said they are investigating the matter. The project in Old Town had affected about 273 people termed as PAPs by the World Bank who are to be compensated but they say the compensation is yet to happen despite that the contractors have already left the site. Kind of Stefano, Ebru TV.